Hi there, in this video I'm going to assemble the crankshaft for the uh, hoglet and hopefully complete the bottom end. So the problem I've got with the crankshaft is the fact that um, the, the crank pin is held to the crank webs um, by this bolt here and uh, I, I just can't get it tight enough to sort of grip it properly. I've had quite a few suggestions in terms of options Tony Simmons came up with a great idea, a gib head key. Um, but having thought about it, the head will stick out, so that's no good. Other suggestions are solder uh, and Loctite, and uh, maybe a grub screw between the join. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to try and go for um, drilling and tapping um, the join between the crank pin and the crank web, and putting a grub screw in there and also use a bit of Loctite uh, just to secure it permanently and then bolt it up. So I think that's the plan I'm going to go with. Well that's the grub screw in place and uh, you'll notice there I did pin the centre before drilling just to make sure that everything was sort of aligned. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll just switch it round and uh, repeat the same process on the other side but I'll do that bit off camera. Well that seems to have turned out okay. So for the shafts, um, rather than use a grub screw I'm going to cut a 3.30 seconds keyway here. And the reason I didn't cut a keyway here was for alignment uh, I would have found it very very difficult uh, getting everything aligned and cutting a keyway exactly in the same position as the uh, other flywheel so that's why I went for a grub screw cleaned everything up the inside of the holes and the crank pin. Crank pin's just in there at the moment, halfway in. And um, when I drilled the holes for the grub screws, I put a witness mark on one end, which is on the other flywheel, just so I know which way around the crank pin goes. So what I'll do um, is I'll put a little bit of Loctite in there on the face, then I'll push the crank pin in, and then I'll uh, uh, tighten up the grub screw, but I'll do that off camera because it's a bit fiddly. So I've put this pin in as a guide on the centre hole and what I'll do now is obviously don't forget to put the uh, <laughs> con rods in and I'll slot that over there and then slot it down. So the crank pin is just starting to come inside here so what I'll do is I'll put some more Loctite 638 in there press it in and then I'll put the grub screw in and that should be it but I'll do that off camera because it's a bit fiddly well I've cut some keyways in the shafts and uh, made these little keys to fit in like that the idea will be to dab a bit of Loctite on and then just insert them in A little bit tight is that which is good so that's the plan um, I'll do it all off camera because it's a bit fiddly so once the uh, Loctite had cured I nipped the bolts up in the crank webs just for extra security and 
and it turns quite freely. Really happy with that. Well, I must say that was a major relief getting the crankshaft sorted out, uh, but I'm really happy with the result. Can't believe how well it turns. And uh, I think that's pretty much the bottom end finished. So um, in my next videos, I'll be concentrating on the top end. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. Maybe the cylinders. I don't know. I need to think about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you later.